Hello! I'm Dr. Gwen Pearson and I'm here in the Purdue Bug Barn. This is where we keep all of our insects in the insect zoo. One of my favorite parts of Geek Girl Con is cosplay. I love dressing up. It's super fun to dress up and pretend. For some of my insect friends here at the Bug Zoo, every day is cosplay day. This lady has a really cool green suit that helps her look like a leaf. And look, she's even shaped like a leaf. Here's that same insect on leaves that she normally eats. Can you still see her? Look at how well she hides. She looks just like a leaf herself. You can kind of see her face. I'll have to move this little leaf here. There she is. So why do you think these animals are pretending to be something that they're not? Insect cosplay helps caterpillars like this hide from predators that might want to eat them. Animal that eats other animals is called a predator. Usually when we talk about predators, you're thinking about lions and tigers and bears, but honestly, this tiny little bird, pretty ferocious little predator. You can see that it's got keen eyesight and it's always looking around for a meal. It's especially important in the spring that bluebirds catch enough insects to feed their babies. And if you're a plant eater, one of the easiest ways to hide is to dress up like a plant. This caterpillar has disguised itself so well, it's hard to tell where the caterpillar begins and the leaf ends. If you couldn't see its little chompers eating, you'd probably never even notice it. If you happen to be on a tree trunk, you can really blend in. This is a caterpillar, really. See the little fluffy feet? And this is a caterpillar, and it basically looks like a stick sitting on a stick. <laughs> you can also see its little fluffy feet. If you were a hungry bird, I bet you'd never see this Katie did. Her cosplay is so good. Group cosplay is a really fun way to pretend with your friends. Because bees and wasps wear similar outfits, their cosplay helps reinforce the message. Do not pet! In fact, the black, red, yellow, orange, stripy combo is so common, humans borrow it. We put it on things that we think are dangerous to warn everybody. Deadpool is a great example of warning coloration. Black, red, yeah, you don't want to make him mad. It's not going to end well. Monarch butterflies and caterpillars use the same yellow, black, orange, stripy pattern to send a message, you should not eat us. In fact, if a bird eats a monarch caterpillar, it's going to barf. They get their vomity chemicals from the milkweed that they're eating. The butterflies' bright colors are a reminder to leave them alone too. And now it gets a little meta. If you're harmless, but you want to be scary, you can dress up as something scary. Yellow, orange, black stripes? This is a wasp, right? Nope, it's not. It is a moth. It is completely harmless and can't bite or sting. This moth even got rid of some of the colors and scales on its wings to look more like a wasp. Pretty amazing, huh? Black and yellow stripes, it's eating pollen. Nope, it's not a wasp, it's not a bee, it's a fly. If you look a little closer, you can see it has only one pair of wings and kind of weird mouth for something that's pretending to be a bee. Here is a fly that's cosplaying as a wasp and a real wasp. Can you figure out which one is which? Yep, the one on the right is the one that's wearing a costume and pretending. The real wasp is the insect that's on the left. So we've seen insect cosplay working in a whole bunch of different ways. You can hide, you can let everybody know you're really dangerous, or you can fake predators out so you don't get eaten. Why don't you give insect cosplay design a try? There's a link to a handout that you can download, or you can just draw on your own paper. Invent an insect and then design a costume for it that helps it not be eaten, or that maybe advertises that it can sting or bite and you should leave it alone. Decide what their homes look like and what eats them. Have lots of fun. And be creative as you want. This is your insect. You're inventing it. Then you might try going outside and see if you can do the same thing for a real insect. 
See what you can find and figure out.